Welcome to what was probably my favorite trip of the year, salmon fishing in British Columbia, Canada, out of the magnificent Sun's Lodge. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, yeah. Having grown up on the Atlantic in the Northeast and tropics, I never got a chance to spend time around mountains. I honestly can't imagine any place more beautiful than this Pacific Northwest. And then there's the fishing. Hi, I'm Dean Travis Clark, and welcome to Sport Fishing Magazine TV, coming to you this week from Malcolm's Island in British Columbia, Canada, where the scenery is absolutely fabulous, the fishing is overwhelming, and you know what? Nature rules. Also this week, we'll show you the truly unusual tackle, lures, and methods used for Chinook salmon. Chris Woodward provides the information that will help you avoid life-threatening skin diseases, and Dr. Bob Ship explains the novel science behind the largest anadromous fish, all from the most physically beautiful place on Earth, the Pacific Northwest. Flying into Seattle and spending the night at the Marriott across the street from our seaplane base let us catch the early morning flight up to Sun's Lodge. It rests on the opposite side of the inside passage from the northern tip of Vancouver Island, about a three-hour flight in this turboprop otter. Going to Suns represents much more than a fishing trip. It's an immersion adventure. Every facet of it is unlike any other fishing trip you can imagine, starting with the over-the-top welcome to the resort by the entire staff. They continued their winning ways by meeting our needs virtually before we knew we had any. The luggage magically appeared in our simple but luxurious cabins, the first of many gourmet cocktail hours and feasts prepared by chef Simon Vine and sous chef Rafe Turner, accompanied by an open bar and an unsurpassed wine cellar, greeted us before we took off for our first afternoon fishing expedition. The day ended before I was ready. And mornings come very early at this latitude. Man, I thought it was so dark 30 and here it is. Everybody else has already left. Let's go fishing, huh? Oh, please. Welcome Let's aboard. go. Thanks, yeah. bud. Suns and many other lodges in the area use these different looking vessels that are smooth riding, extremely dry, and provide warm shelter, a great feature for us thin-blooded types. Scott Sund owns and operates the resort. He bought it several years ago from its founder, Scott's father, Dave, who flew up to drive us around. Scott, who started out guiding up here when he was a very young boy, guided us to his favorite fishing spots. I just cannot get over the incredible wildlife here. All right, so first we're using downriggers and we're using mooching rods, which are like real long fly rods with these big unusual reels That's on That's exactly it. right, Dean. This is a 10-6 rod. It's a single action reel, so there is a drag, but when that fish is cooking the line, Watch your knuckle. it's a, like a fly reel. It's yeah. a saltwater fly reel. That's why we love it. So uh, they, the nickname in BC is called Knuckle Busters. Oh, yeah. Watch your knuckles. I believe me, I've learned the hard way. <laughs> Let's I mean, get them down. Put them in the water. All right. Oh, We're that's a, a decent fish. fish. Yeah pour it, hard to pour it, and then come on back. Help me get some gear. Don't worry about me there. You fight your fish. I'm gonna get my gear off you. We just tangled a bit, but I'll handle it. Yeah! Tie time. Let's get on to it, baby. Let's get on to it. Fish on! Now don't horse it, Dean. I'm not. You got single action there. That's a nice fish. Look at him out there, about 200 yards. Boy, he's pushing quite yeah, a way. Yeah, look at that. Look it's a at nice the size fish. of that. Head shaking there. He gave up a while ago. Oh, that's a dandy, Dean. Oh, lift his head to me. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Big one. Oh, yes. Woo! That's huge. Woo -hoo -hoo! That is huge. That's a dandy. That's oh, what that's we came for. Welcome to BC. You betcha. Woo -woo! Hey, Dean, this is a dandy. This one's close to probably low 30s. Put you in the Tai Club. That was, how'd it fight? 
uh, it, it did real well for a little while, and oh. then it just sort of stopped. Yeah, you know, it just didn't. Uh, he was hooked down in the gill. Let's get in the fish box and get it, get the lines back get in. Get that net out of your way. All right, let's get back to work. Oh yeah, great job. Thanks. Here's your net. Let's go fishing. Tai is a word from an indigenous people here in British Columbia called the Haida Gai. A Tai is a salmon over 30 pounds. As soon as we return, we'll explain all the unusual tackle and rigs used when fishing for big salmon. Sport Fishing Magazine TV is presented by Mercury, number one on the water. By Fountain Power Boats, the world's fastest, smoothest, safest, best handling, and most dependable boats. By ARCD Hookers, don't get caught without one. And by Penn, the biggest name in fishing. Scott, trolling for salmon here in the Pacific Northwest isn't like any other kind of trolling I've ever done. Okay. So let's quickly go over the rigs and show people what we're using. Let's do it. We got mooching rods and reels. They're, they're different. Yeah, it's a lamb glass, 10 foot, six rod. So a lot of, lot of bend in the rod. And uh -huh. then it's a single action reel. So when that fish goes, you're feeling it on the reel. All right, real knuckle buster. Yeah. You're using downriggers, and we use downriggers too, but you're using a whole different kind of clip. Mm -hmm. This is just a traditional halibut clip. That's a long line clip. Long line clip yep. that goes right onto our downrigger cable. And then this compression clip opens up, holds our monofilament, so when the fish hits, pulls it out of the clip, and we're free to fight without any All right. weight. And then that goes down to a flasher, and this thing spins. And it's obviously got lots of swivels on it. Yeah, and, and we use all different colors on the flasher, you know, depending what's happening in the water. But the whole thing is trying to give action to either our squid or our herring. How long is this leader? Well, today we're running 43 inches. Sometimes we're short and sometimes we're long. Uh -huh. but it's all different coloring. And, and then the double hook, you notice, uh, kind of a stinger hook. So when the salmon bites, he doesn't get away. Uh huh. And you're using either herring or these little squid. Mm -hmm. And you also inject the body cavity of the herring with Fish oil. Yeah, we like to soak all our plastic baits in anchovy oil and then inject herring oil into the baits. Get uh -huh. some sin on it. So these salmon have great snouts. So. That's right, because they're smelling fresh water that's exactly and that's right. how they get back to where they yeah. spawned. So, and everything spins. Everything spins. Yeah, we're replicating that injured bait fish. All right, great. Yeah. I never traveled more than half an hour to any fishing spot. Honestly, I didn't care how long it took. I felt such overwhelming awe at the scenery I could have ridden for days and never noticed. So, uh, what is this place? This is the wall. This is the, the wall. This is my favorite spot to fish in the whole area. We got an incoming tide bringing bait and fish in, and you're fishing this ridge here, and it just drops right off to like 200 feet. Big fish just sitting along here, waiting to just snap us up. This is a fish. All right, Dean, you want this one or can I have no, it? No, you have that one. Oh, yeah, Dean. Oh, he's coming at me. I'm just hanging in that tide. Uh, I better get you, uh, I get you on this side. Beautiful. Get you right in this corner. Beautiful, so, beautiful. You think this is uh, Rosie O'Donnell, as you That's call him? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a big, a big gal. With that eagle's talking to us. That's a good omen, Dean. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You guys. Oh, woo! Oh, that's beautiful. He's just trying to keep out in that current. Okay. He's just trying to sit under that boat. If you could back up. He's trying to head right for that engine. There we go. Oh, Dean. Bigger than mine, huh? Well, it's handsome, whatever. Gorgeous coloring. Look at the green in the water. Yep. Almost turquoise on its sides. Oh, 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 yeah. Nice job oh, on that. Oh, that's bigger than my fish. No oh, question. That's a long ways. No question. Woo. A long ways. Oh, coming up. That's a dandy. Look at that fish. Woo. Look at that fish, guys. He's not pleased. It's a nice little female, Dean. You can see the smaller nose uh -huh. and the smaller jaw. Beautiful Chinook here. And that turquoise color disappeared as soon as it came out of the water. Yeah. Good job, hey, brother. Thank you. Nice work, Excellent. Pop. And put us on them. We got it. Arr! Now, the Chinook is the largest member of the salmon family. And they're here on a migration right now. And Dr. Bob Ship is here to tell us more 
about Chinook salmon. 